Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I made a video like this before. I don't know, uh, depending on how long you were here for um, in my channel. But it's uh, I made another one 2018, I think. But a lot of people say said that it wasn't clear enough, or I don't know if it is. But a lot of people join my channel to ask them to make a, or they asked me to make them a Discord server. So I'm gonna try to be as clear as I can with this one. I'm trying to make it not as long. So let's get right into it. First of all, make sure you have Discord account. If you don't, it's really easy to make one. You just need an email and obviously just create a password and verify your email eventually. Um, so, for, so once you have Discord open either on your browser or client, client's a lot faster, quick note. Um, you would click this add a server icon right here and then just create or join. Obviously we're gonna go for create for this video. And then enter your name. I'll do Caesar YT for YouTube. Uh, you can change your icon if you want. Server regions really important. Um, this is where your server is going to be located in, so you can get uh, better signal, better ping if you're, if you know what that means. Uh, example: If you're in New York City, your time zone is Eastern time zone, Eastern Standard Time Zone, which means it's U.S. East because Eastern. Right? If you're in, uh, I don't know, let's say Arizona. I'm not sure if it's west. I think it's west. It's. I think, I'm pretty sure it's west. Um, three hours behind. Yeah, that's. That, I think that's west. If it's not, correct me. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> but either way, it's really important. Just keep in mind that uh, everyone who joins is going to be located in this region. So if some guy from Tokyo, Japan joins your server in US East, they're gonna have a bad ping, but it all in all you shouldn't be you shouldn't be attracting that many people far away from you. So anyway. So once you did that, hit create. You're gonna be automatically it'll ask you for your friends to join. Uh, you can just click the invite or whatever. For now you have general and general, text channel and voice channel. We're gonna leave that. So the first things first is for text channel. Make sure you have a general, obviously. And then voice channel, make sure you have a general or lounge or whatever you want to call it. You can rename these all you want. Uh, make sure you also have a AFK voice channel so that if someone becomes, you know, if someone's away from their keyboard for like more than five minutes, they're going to be automatically placed in here. So let's set that up right now. So since we have this, first of all, you got to create your AFK channel. Then you go to server settings. And AF the AFK channel, click AFK. And you can change how long you want them. We'll keep ours five minutes for now. So there's that. We did the AFK channel. That's one of the most important needs of this. Another one for a good Discord server would be a text channel named rules or guidelines, whatever you want to call it. But make sure it's somewhere where no, no, nobody can type in it, which I'll show you how later on. And somewhere excluded. So here, we'll put it up here because we're cool. And be like... No spamming, no scamming, three, no toxic there. That, that'll be our rules for now. And uh, we'll make it so no one can type in it. So here we'll do it right now. So you go to, you click this little uh, gear icon here, it says edit channel, or you can right click and then edit channel. And then go to, you can set the topic here. So we'll name ours rules of the server, just like that. Permissions, this is at everyone in your server. So every, like everyone who's in it, who joins, this is their rights. Obviously they can't do that, they can't do this, they can't do this, they can't do this. All this is for administrators usually, or mods. Not even mods, but this sometimes will people allow it. Um, I don't, I usually don't. Uh, read messages, of course they can. Send messages, no, we don't want them to type anything. Um, obviously they can't delete it, we don't want them to delete a message. And they can't send messages, so we'll just deny these things. This means that they can send links and it'll show a little preview of it. Which they can't send anything anyway. Read message history? Yes, of course. Mention everyone? No. No. And reactions is all up to you. I usually keep my no for professional use. But we'll just do that. And then... So this is, and this is part two of how to have a good server. You need rules, you need an AFK zone. Especially if you have a big server, AFK helps a lot. Um, another thing, if you don't want a lot of people 
to be in one channel at once, you can edit the channel here and you can also have a user limit. So let's say we want eight people here. Save. Boom, you'll have zero out of eight right there. Now you can always switch that, it doesn't matter. It's all up to you. Next thing is next thing uh, next thing to do is go to server settings up here. Right here. Uh, you can have a welcome message, it's pretty cool. What this does is you can select the channel to welcome a new person who joins the server. You can also do this with a bot or whatever. I'll probably make videos of how to set up a couple bots. Um, excuse me. But what this does is whenever someone joins, it'll just say, welcome this guy to the server. That's it. Or like with a special message saying like, oh, this guy is overpowered and watch out. And whatever. It, it, Discord has a bunch of intro things. Pretty cool in my opinion. It can also send a message when someone boosts the server, which is like one of their new things, nitro boosting. Uh, pretty much it'll give someone an icon and it'll say this guy has boosted the server, pretty much, in pink. Um, Alright, so now still in settings, moderation, uh, medium, this is usually really good to prevent spammers because people usually join ser popular servers to send an invite link for their server and then they just leave. It's really scummy to do, but people do it. So just do this, it prevents it. It won't stop it, but it prevents it by a lot. So you need to do 10 minutes. Um, not a log, doesn't matter. Roles, this is one of the most important things in your server. Right now you have everyone. You can select what everyone can do. They can create instant invite, we don't want that. Uh, change nickname, sure, we'll give them that freedom. And everything else will be will be um, uh, directly into channels, meaning I'll show you what I mean. So by roles, we want a new role. Obviously you want a role for, I don't know, mods or whatever. So we want mods, right? And then we want, you know, color them something friendly, green, blue, whatever. Um, Save changes, you can also display as them as you can display them to separately from online members, which means it'll just show you. Right now it's the online. If I give myself mods, it'll say mods, and then online will be on the bottom here. So it's pretty cool. Uh, let's go back to roles here. Alright. Allow anyone to mention it? Sure, because I want them to help people if they need support, right? Administrator, careful with this because Administrator means it can do anything on your server, except for like delete it, I think, because they'll need your pa your password or something. So make sure administrator is your closest friend, you know, family member, whatever. Just make sure it's not, you know, make sure it's not uh, someone you don't trust fully because they can really mess up your server. That audit log, doesn't matter, manage server, all this could be all different. Uh, manage roles. We will we'll let that because they can remove rules and add rules to people, sure. Manage nicknames, sure, they can do that too. Manage nicknames. Why I like that is I know I gave freedom to everyone for their nicknames, but why you want someone to man why you want a mod to be able to manage nicknames is in case someone names themselves something really explicit. Like 18 plus, you know, it's against the guidelines. You can always report a person, but sometimes that doesn't always work. So we have that. Uh, everything else can stay the same because Everything else will be assigned directly in a channel. So we have mods, and let's say we want to add, um, if you have subscribers or something, we'll name them uh, CZ subs for Caesar subs. Uh, we'll make them yellow, because why not? So this is also important. If I have CZ subs above mods, it means mods can't do anything to CZ subs. So if you're a role, Let's say your mods, you can only do anything to everyone else besides CZ subs because CZ subs is above you. You can't edit, you can't edit or kick someone that's CZ subs. But if it was opposite, now you can because you're above them. Hopefully that's not that confusing. Um, it shouldn't be confusing at all. But anyway, so there's that. Uh, for CZ subs, same thing as everyone. We'll let them change nickname, that's about it. Perfect. All right, so we have our roles here. Uh, let's say I want to give myself, you know what, let's make CZ subs be able to be different, right? We'll allow them to be uh, separate from them and we'll be able to mention them just because if I have a new video coming out, I'll mention them and be like, hey guys, new video. That's cool. So let's say, 
I want to create a text channel called announcements. Like that. And I want to make it so only CZ subs can see it. It's only going to be a channel where I have videos or something coming out. Then I would click edit channel. Permissions. Everyone cannot do anything. Let's say I don't want anything, anyone to be able to see it except for CZ subs and mods. So all X for everyone, right? Save changes. Go to CZ subs and then add them, add reactions. Sure, I'll let them react and I'll let them use other people's emojis as well. Mention everyone? No, I mean, that's really annoying. So I don't want them to be able to type in it, only see it. So free message history. Yes, attach files. No, because that's including sending messages. Same thing with this. Manage messages, they're not an admin or anything, so no. Send TTS messages, nope, don't want them to send messages, don't want them to send messages. Read messages, yeah, so I want them to read. And then everything else is, is administrator, I don't want them to do anything with this. Now, mods. I don't really need mods, if they're not sending messages, I don't need mods in here. So you know what, we don't need mods in here. So we'll keep it like that. If, if your mods are subscribed to you and you want to be... You want to have the announcements? Sure, they can see it. But since I'm the only one posting in this in this channel, there's no reason a mod needs to be in here. And correct me, right? Uh, now for general, we want to make this so everyone can see the, the channel. So we'll just take get rid of all the administrative things. Read messages, yes. Send messages, yes. TTS messages can become very annoying. So be careful with that. It means talk to speak. Uh, what it is if you say slash talk to speak. Anyone who's in the voice chat will be able to hear exactly what he says. A lot of people spam this, so I usually keep it off all the time. Uh, manage messages. No, we don't want them to delete their messages or anyone else's messages. M links. This is all depending on you, really. Um, I usually keep a separate chat for M links because M links is, a, let's say, someone posted something, a, a, a site, a site that's really explicit, that's 18 plus or older, it'll show a thumbnail of it. And it could be a picture of like really uh, something you don't want your kids to see or something. So I usually keep it off. Attach files as well because people can send files that are viruses or something. Uh, read message history, of course. I want them to be able to see what other people said yesterday. Sure. Mention everyone. No, that's really annoying. And ex emoji and reactions. Sure, why not? Now, if I want mods to be able to... Um, Correct everyone who is doing those bad things, like sending bad links or something, you know? Uh, mods, I don't want them to do that. Manage channel, no. This is for, like, admins. Mods is only someone who takes care of, like, authority in the servers, right? Um, manage permissions, no. Webhooks, no. So read messages, yes. Send messages, yes. Talk to speak. Mods, it all... You know, again, it all depends on you. I usually keep it off because it is, it can become annoying and even mods, moderators are sometimes, you know, immature. So, uh, manage messages. This is a yes. So what this does is they'll be able to delete messages that other people sent. So let's say they send a bad word, they can delete it and then warn them or something. M links, um, mods, I don't know. This all depends on you too. I would just go with no, I would go with yes, just because in case something you need to explain something and they can't go in the announcement channel, they have to do it. Attach files as well. Mods, moderators trust, they should be trusted enough to allow these two things. If not, then ask yourself why he's the moderator or she. Uh, read message history, yes. Mention everyone, yes, in case you need an announcement. It should be trusted for that too. Use external emojis, yes, and add reaction, sure. So this is. Um, this is pretty much for the text channels and roles. Um, another important thing that you need to know is your notification settings. Um, you would just click your title here, go to notification settings here. Um, and then only at mention, make sure this is set because a lot of people hate it when it's not. Uh, I've joined so many big servers before where all I would hear is badoop, 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 and that is very annoying because just imagine being in a server with 10,000 people and everyone's typing at once, right? Um, if this isn't set, you're going to have to manually go here, notification settings and do it yourself, which isn't a big deal, I know. But some people don't know how to do that. So do it for your own members, they'll be much happier. So you go there, click notification settings, only at mentions. What this does is 
people will only hear Badoop whenever they get mentioned. And you can even suppress everyone in here so they don't hear that as well. It doesn't matter, I keep that one on because you should have trusted people doing that. So, uh, yeah, so that's done. You can also override the channel so that if they have it muted, then this channel will override it. So I usually do like announcements, you know, really important announcements where people will hear automatically. And then you can even just, you can do all if you want or just mentions, doesn't matter. And done. This will prevent a lot of hatred. Really good stuff. Pretty good. Um, quick, now one more thing I'll do for you guys is setting up, checking the voice channel um, stuff here. It's almost the same. Permissions looks the same. It's just different permissions because it's a voice channel now. So obviously for everyone, this is still off because it's the same thing. View channel, sure, it's only general. It means everyone should be able to join it. So everyone will be able to join it. Speak, can everyone speak? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, mute members, everyone cannot mute members. Uh, we don't want to give that the power to everyone. So that, that would become chaos. Deaf to members as well. Move members as well. <laughs> Uh, voice, use voice activity. This means if they have to, if it's on, it means they can talk freely. If it's off, it means they need to use push to talk, which is really good if you have a big server. Um, I usually keep mine on until I happen to hear a bunch of chaos and toxicity in my server. So far, it's fine. So I just keep it on until then. And priority speaker, it's everyone in the server. We're, gonna, we're not going to allow that. As for, let's say mods, we're going to allow that because mods may have something to say, right? Voice activity, yes, of course they can talk. Move members, of course, if they become too toxic, they'll be able to move them, deafen them members as well, mute them as well, speak, connect, view channel, pretty much everything except for these. And ta-da, there you go. So that's simple enough here. Uh, make sure to go backtrack in the video if you haven't, um, if you haven't understood anything. If you have any questions about Discord server, please let me know. Um, I want to make videos on how to set up a, like a few bots. If you guys have a couple bots in mind, let me know in the comments as well. Join my Discord as well if you want me to respond to you quicker. I'm, I'm usually always on my Discord and I usually see all my messages. So, um, so yeah, this is about it. I had to set up a, a server. Obviously, you'd have way more channels than this. You can even add game bots, whatever. I can all I can show you guys all that later on. I made videos on top ten bots for your servers to keep them active and going i've also made top 10 moderation bots and top 10 game bots so um i'll show them i'll show them or it should pop up around now by the time i end the video um but uh yeah so i hope you guys i hope this helped you guys a bit more in the last video if you have any questions comment below leave a like and i'll see you guys in another video bye bye